Hi, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm in your window. If you don't get it, we in you win dough. But if you win it, when it's finished, in the end, you win dough, man. Let's go. Look, I gotta make that have another video for you guys. First of all, I did pre record um a video for like 7 35 later today so check that out i'm doing a bar breakdown of my song remix that i dropped of eminem's die alone excuse me i always burp in like the first 30 seconds jesus christ um so yes um i'm officially back back um every time i say i'm back something happens but first of all i had spent um time over my mother's house, making sure she was well, doing okay, and stuff like that. She had surgery, and she's in a recovery program for until like April to eight or something like that, about three weeks maybe. Um, so I, I went there, made sure my little brother was okay, spent time with him, and made sure he was going to school, stuff like that. Um, my birthday was this past Friday that just passed, so I was there, just interacting with my family and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, but um, it's funny. I bought my equipment. And I, I feel more, like, in tune with my true self when I'm in my area, in my element, in my room. And so a lot of times when I leave, it's weird to go do YouTube anywhere else. Because I'm trying to, like, just do the performance of my Eli, the Eli Innuendo, the YouTuber, not in my studio. This is, this is my bedroom, is my studio. So this is crazy, but... Um, occasionally I do do stuff there, but sometimes it's just, I feel more comfortable doing this. And then sometimes depending on what all is going on, background noise, stuff like that, I, sometimes recording just slips my mind or stuff happens. And I, I just had to make sure my priorities were good and making sure everything was good there and stuff like that. So I, I didn't want to get in the habit of trying to get too comfortable there. Cause I want to make sure everything was situated. Um, uh, but my mom's doing well. Um, so far, so good. Everything like that. Just we just got to get her on the right path now. She's gonna be in a wheelchair temporarily. Is what I was told. Until like until she kind of gets back on her feet. Other than that, yeah, it's, it's pretty much all all go good good business with that. So yeah. Um, then when I came back, my first day back, I still it's still something. I still got a little like the sniffles, but my first day back, my first day back. Uh, working and hearing like so many random people were sick right that same day that very same day i didn't get that much sleep the night before and then i was my body was immune to getting sick and i literally got sick for like the past two days i'm just getting better this was crazy because i don't know what it was but i was like feeling like a lot and then yesterday while i was not 100 percent, probably was like 80 percent I went to go eat seafood. I've had seafood before, but I don't know if I've had crab legs and all that other stuff before. So I ended up having a whole shebang or whatever the case I had. It was like crab legs, shrimp, some potatoes, corn. I went to like this this crab place with my friend and food was good. Um, but that food tore my stomach up and I was in the restroom all night and almost all morning. Just back to back to back to back. My stomach looked like I was about to have a baby. It was bloated. I was like, bro, what the freak is going on? And I couldn't even finish my food. It was like, it didn't look, it wasn't a lot of food, but I don't know if it was just seafood. And I don't know what it is. Every time I go to a fast food restaurant, excuse me, every time I go to a restaurant, not a fast food restaurant, every time I go to a restaurant, the seasonings that they pour down on the thing is is enriched with flavor which is good but sometimes the season is gonna be too much and it can make me feel uncomfortable and i've had that happen multiple times where the same dish i can eat and i will feel perfectly fine but you go to a restaurant they i don't know what the freak they put in there pe paprika like i don't i don't know but they the season is they put in there the stuff is crazy so um it tastes good but it is so enriched in flavor that sometimes it's overwhelming and it can fill you up but depending on like what all is going on and how much I eat it can make me feel a little uncomfortable. And so I don't know which end is going to come out of, but I'm always hoping it doesn't come out the, the front part because that that is the worst. And it's really uncomfortable. But my stomach was like bloated. My stomach literally, as I'm talking right now, finally feels like 
like it's good like it finally feels like it's down like my oh my gosh that was crazy it was hard to sleep too i got a reasonable amount of sleep for today they had called me into work but i had a reasonable amount of sleep today but it wasn't as much sleep as i wanted and then i had to buy some freaking like pepto bismol stuff or whatever i got a whole little bag that i was that i had some stuff in. i got well, Pepto Bismol stuff or whatever. Had to get the cough drops from when I was sick. I had two ginger ales, like it was, and it was. Uh, I think BC was the name of the little powder stuff. I put that in water. The first time I put it in water, it, ew, it was disgusting. The second time I put it in my ginger ale, and it tasted a whole lot better. So, yeah. Over here popping cough drops like pills, bro. Chill, but um. Trying to get this completely out of my system. So it's because it's a lot going on. But yeah, so that's where everything has been. I finally feel at a good place where I don't feel like nothing's going to just sprung up out of nowhere. But life happens. And I mean, I got I, I had pre-recorded three videos. I did one last Friday. This one, the video that's coming out later today. And I got one that I pre-recorded. But I'm going to be back to... Go ahead with the with the vlogs and stuff um, and everything like that and posting a video later on and so on and so forth. It's a reasonable amount of editing, but I'm trying to get it all out of the way. Um, I'm going to try some different stuff, maybe use this to record with the microphone, stuff like that, and react to it on the computer. It takes a little bit more effort, but I'm going to try some different stuff. Working on my thumbnails a little bit more and yeah, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, and then like the thumbnails is so cool that I learned how to do the thumbnails because it's really just a matter of like a pose and then locking that in and then putting it up on the thing and then like adding some stuff in like that. So I, it's thumbnails are real cool, but I've been I'm working on a lot of different stuff. Um, music, music is is still an ongoing thing. Um, because <laughs> today is Friday. Yeah, today is Friday. I have. There's a song I did on Tangerine Top Talent last Tuesday that I will um, I'm gonna record and have it available on all streaming platforms soon. I don't know. It depends on how the store goes. It should be about a week when that does that. Once I record it and and uh, mix and master it because I do mix and master myself. So yeah, but after I do that, it'll be ready to go. Is um, I've decided the name is gonna be called 28 years i turned 28 last friday so it's just kind of like my mindset reflection and stuff overall the song literally up i forgot when i originally started writing the song maybe at 23 or 24 I, 23 20 i forgot what it was but the song up to a certain point in my life is still to this day reflecting my life and it and it's so interchangeable with the age that it did not matter what age it was that i was putting in there because it was literally it was a song that i did for my birthday but still just reflecting on stuff i started rapping a couple of stuff and then i just started talking about some like topics and everything like that so it was i was kind of interested in it. it was um a little bit more like a rock and roll kind of song like something some similar like that but not at all of the way i did that if that makes any sense but yeah so hopefully i'm back um we're gonna try this the right way because i was not trying to let the whole week go and not post a video um but i gotta also get videos from my other channels because those channels are having their, they're, they're taking a toll so but thank you guys so much for being patient rock with me hope hope you like the new jacket got it from aldi unfortunately had to pay for it unlike other properties and stuff that they just give to you they claim that we can't wear these at work but i was confused about because i get like the little sweatpants that this comes with but i'm about to be i'm about to find a way to rock this in my other jacket i don't know where it went it's somewhere in there somewhere but yeah because it has the logo the same logo right here i'm about to find a way to be rocking this though but like they only had this one in an extra large like how do bro and my other jacket was a large. Like, how does that make any sense, bro? I wear. I was looking for mediums, and the other colors were small mediums. And these colors, and the light blue one was like large, extra large. This one was like large, extra large. I was like, why are the colors I want? And I was because I was trying to get something that I don't like. 
colors that I don't always have, especially stuff that's like this color because all my stuff is that color. So I want to get something different. So yeah, other than that, um, 10 minute mark just hit. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, man. You guys stay blessed. No stress. Got to take it a rest. See you guys in the next. Thank you so much. Again, road to a thousand. Let's continue to just be awesome. And I hope you guys continue to live your life to the fullest and never give up. Appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video, man. Peace out. Love you. Bye.